Accept my prayers for its sake, because your beloved, your beloved accepted the spear and the nail for my sake and severed to please you. But after I was saved, Satan returned to my heart and pierced me through with his darts. Grant me, Lord, your mercy, because he is powerful accuser. By the provision of sin, he slew me. Avenge me to the audacious one who is not satisfied with me, being led astray from my life. You. You, Lord, my King and my God and my Savior, bind up the wounds of the soul of the body of me, your servant. O oh, my Lord Jesus Christ, it in no wise befits you to enter under the roof of my polluted house, for I have provoked you to wrath, for I have done evil in your sight, and by transgressing your commandment have polluted my breath of life and body which you created after your image and likeness, Yet in me dwells no good thing, but for the sake of your plan and your incarnation for my salvation, 
for the sake of your precious cross and your life-giving death, for the sake of your resurrection on the third day, I pray and ask you, O oh my Lord, that you would purge me from all guilt and curse and from all sin and defilement. And when I have received your holy mystery, let it not be unto me for judgment nor for condemnation, but have compassion upon me and have mercy upon me, and through it grant me remission of my sin and life for my breath of life, O life of the world, through the petition of Our Lady, the Holy Mary, his mother of twofold virginity, and of John the Baptist, and through the prayer of all the holy angels, all the martyrs, and all the righteous who have fought for the good unto ages of ages. Amen. 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 Yeah, <laughs> Chant in the peace and the love of Jesus Christ. 
Dosum we have a call, Lord, and have we made happy with your call, confirm with your power, keep with your love, join in your everlasting kingdom through Christ, through whom with you and with him and the Holy Spirit be glory, dominion, was not and ever unto the world uh, to come. God me to bring forth fruit that shall be more pleasing unto you. Then I may be appearing in glory and live for you. Well, in faith I will call up your Father and call up your kingdom. Our Lord be your name upon us forever. You are mighty, present, glorious, and be your glory unto the In faith I call upon your Father and call up your kingdom. Our Lord, you and your name. And you be glory unto the last ages, and faith I call upon you, Father, all, and call upon your kingdom, our Lord, be your name upon us, you mighty, praise, and glorious, and you be glory unto the days of the Fill my mouth with praise, my heart, joy, my soul with gladness, fill me. You have received for the divine mystery of oh, you who became man for the mankind salvation. We thank God that we have partaken of his holy things. We pray and trust that which we have received may be healing for the life of the soul while we worship the Lord our God. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever and ever. Our Father in heaven, lead us, Lord, lest we enter into temptation. We have received of the holy body and the precious blood of Christ. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. And let us give thanks unto him who makes us ready to be communed in the precious and holy mystery. And now shall speak the praise of the Lord, let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, lead us, Lord, lest we enter into temptation. Again, we offer our supplication to the Almighty God, God of our God, Father, the Lord, Savior of Jesus Christ. We give you thanks, you have granted us to take of your holy mystery. Let it not be unto me an occasion of a God, nor of a judgment, but for the written wall of soul, body, and spirit, through your only begotten Son, through whom with you, with him, and with the Holy Spirit, be glory and dominion, was not ever in the world without end. Amen. ታጠነውን <laughs>
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today through YouTube. We're glad that you're able to participate electronically. And we pray that we eventually will be back together person to person. But in the meantime, this is an opportunity for perhaps more people to uh, have the benefits of the monthly English Kadasi. And we give thanks to God for this opportunity to praise him and to worship him and to recognize that God wants to be a part of our lives and that we need to respond to that. God has a plan and the plan that God put forward indicates that God needs certain things. Now we usually don't think of God as needing anything because really he doesn't need anything, but because he created, there are necessary things that need to be taken care of. And so God has acquired needs by his own will. And so it is that he created us in his image and likeness, just as he had made the angels in his image and likeness. But yet we have free will. And so each of us make, must make a decision. And it's important for us to learn to pray in the language that we're used to using in our everyday life. Because our everyday life is our meeting with God recognizing his presence in our midst. And particularly at the end of each year, as this is the last weekend in this year of 2012, the Ethiopian year, it's time for us to begin thinking about how we might have done better or where we dropped the ball in the past year. And to make amends, to say sorry to those people whom we have offended to ask their forgiveness also. Because our Lord stressed again and again that the kingdom of God is not like the kingdom of this world. It's available, it's available right now, it's available to us. It is at hand and it's not as things of the world, either here or there, but it's wherever we go. God wants to dwell with us. And he calls us to a reward at the end of our days and after his coming back to judge all according to their deeds. And the kingdom of God will come from above, not below. He will bring the heavenly Jerusalem and we will all celebrate his coming. And that's why St. John in his book, The Revelation, Riot, he prays at the end of that book, come Lord Jesus. And so it is that in our life, we should anticipate the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And is the return of all righteousness, which will be proclaimed when he comes again. And we need to prepare for that by cleansing ourselves, getting rid of our sins, gradually discarding everything which weighs us down and keeps us from having a vital relationship with God. Because Jesus said, blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. And this is what we anticipate. We anticipate seeing God eternally. And so we need now to purify ourselves so that we might see God's will on earth and do God's will on earth and prepare for the coming of the kingdom of God. And so it is that we start each week by the celebration of the Kadasi, celebrating our thanksgiving to God, asking God to bless the coming week, asking him to help us to prove our love for him whom we cannot see by doing unto others as we would have them do unto us. And so that is the message of the gospel. And each year, particularly, we ought to remember that at the beginning of the year. 
but there are seasons throughout the year that are appointed for us to repent. And we need to be prepared by repenting and recognizing our sins and being prepared to work with the grace of God to do better in our lives, to give glory to God in everything that we think and do and say, giving glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I have missed a lot of you. We are entering the new year. We're looking forward. The Mayans thought the world was going to end in 2012, and many people followed their route. What they did not know was that 2020, according to the Western calendar, is actually 2012, according to the Goodes calendar. And so this forthcoming September 11th, we shall be entering the lovely year dedicated to the evangelist Matthew, and we will be entering 2013. And we pray that 2013 will be different for us than 2012. We have some songs in our tradition that I've translated into English that I think will help us to reflect, as we always do, on God's graciousness and on his ever coming so that we can request his help and we can request his power in all things that we do in all times and in all places so that we may give him glory. This gathering seeks your blessing, Lord. This gathering seeks your blessing, Lord. Grant us peace. Grant us love today and forever. Grant us love. Grant us peace today and forever. Uh, grant us love. Grant us peace today and forever. Grant us love. Grant us peace today and forever. This gathering seeks your blessing, Lord. This gathering seeks your blessing, Lord. Grant us love. Grant us peace today and forever. Grant us love, grant us peace today and forever. That's a hymn that's usually sung for any gathering, for any congregation. So we'll seek his love and his peace in the forthcoming year. And now we'll do the two-pronged song that is a part of our even song or our evening prayers from Mahara Na'ab or from our nighttime vespers, however you want to refer to it in the church. And one is dedicated to our Lord, one is dedicated to our Lady Mary. Don't cast us away, don't cast us away, and don't despise us. Don't cast us away, don't cast us away, and don't despise us. Oh, God of peace, please help us. Oh, God of peace, help us. Uh -huh. Oh, God of peace, please help us. Oh, God of peace, help us. Don't cast us away. Don't cast us away. And don't despise us. 
please help us. Oh, God of peace, help us. Oh, God of peace, please help us. Oh, God of peace, help us. Our Lady Maria. Son's peace be with us. May your son's peace be with us. Uh -huh. May your son's peace be with us. May your son's peace be with us. Our Lady Maria, Our Lady Maria, look toward us. Our Lady Maria, Our Lady Maria, look toward us. May your son's peace be with us. May your son's peace be with us. Uh -huh. May your son's peace be with us. May your son's peace. May the Lord have you hear his word of life from Thomas and Deacon Enoch. Um, uh, Malaika Sriwa, Malaika Mari, my ministry of our church, of Thomas, Deacon Enoch, and Deacon Zena, and those who are, who are attending this um, the Divine Liturgy for all. May the love and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Uh, thank you for joining us. Our next liturgy will be October 4th, the first Saturday of each month. Please join us at 8 o'clock. And since, as you just heard, this is the end of this year, may the new year bring peace to us and the love of Christ, repentance, joy, grow in faith in Him spiritually and physically and mentally in everything that we do. May we pass through this pandemic so we can all gather in this holy place and worship Him in one heart, as well as take this opportunity to give, to give thanks that we still, day by day, we're living, we're breathing. Day by day, He's making us to be healthy, uh, be fruitful. So in a sense, he's given us a chance for us to be with our families, our beloved ones at home, um, to have some time to have a heartfelt discussion about what our faith is all about. Because unless you make that holy temple inside your home that you're going in on every day, it will be useless for us to think about the bigger church to will gather in here. Where everything starts from the little temple, temple of God, each of our soul. So um, that's been said for 5,500 years. Everyone was living in the dark until the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was born. When he was born from the year of suffering, we transfer the year of mercy. So we're still in that path of the year of mercy. So the church talked about our Lord and Savior trying to return. That was it when he comes again for his triumph coming to judge the living and the dead. So for that reason, you know, the church always confirmed on this day, the last Sunday or the last, um, you know, kind of last days of the year, you know, transition to the new year to remind us that each day God has given us, each year that's given to us, it's just a year of mercy. And His mercy, we have to live in abundant love, righteousness, and faith. Be fruitful. Unless we're fruitful, there's no hope in us. When He comes again to judge, everyone will be judged according to His work. And we're not going to be able to save anyone else, not even ourselves. For that, the church reminds us that every time this year, at the end of the year, just like I'm Thomas and Deacon Hino mentioned to us now, it is a gracious way to receive a new year with a new life. That life is given through our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us all repent and have asked for His mercy, receive His flesh and His blood when He comes again, so we can be standing on the right hands of His Father or Himself. And may He call us to be my chosen blessed one. May all glory be to Him, by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. O oh, peaceful King of peace, Jesus Christ, grant us peace and comfort us in your faith, peace and forgive us our sins, make us worthy to live and enter in our home and sin peace.
Bow your heads in front of the Lord our God, that he may bless you at the hand of his servant, the Cassis. O Lord, save your people, bless your inheritance. O Lord, save your people, bless your inheritance. O Lord, save your people, bless your inheritance. Fear it down, lift them up ever and keep you, keep them, kick and keep you, which you did purchase the ransom with the precious blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And of which you we have called the dwelling place of your king and rulers for pure kindred and holy people. We have come gather and pray in this holy church. You have eaten the holy blood and drank the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. May he forgive your sins which you have committed wittingly and wittingly. May he forgive your past sins, keep you from future ones for the sake of his blood, the divine blood and the sacred blood of oh, the sake of his blood, the blood of the covenant of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord of us. And the son of the pure Mary, who have sealed virginity and conscious body unto the age of ages. My father, priests, my brothers, deacons, O Lord God, Jesus Christ, forgive us our sin, our guilt, and accept repentance when they are fell. And you anticipate the gift of the Holy Spirit, giving the authority to the absolution of the apostles. May he cleanse us from the sin which have committed wittingly and wittingly. Our Father, my brother, priest, and my blessed sisters, may he forgive our sins for past and future ones. May the Lord have mercy upon us. May the Lord have mercy upon us. May the Lord have mercy upon us. For the sake of Mary, have mercy upon us. For the sake of Mary, have mercy upon us. For the sake of Mary, have mercy upon us. For the sake of Mary, my Father, praise my brother, the Lord's servants of God, servants of God, that he may be rid of our sins, men worthy of his kingdom. May the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit, amen. May God bless us, his servants, in peace, since we have been healed by receiving your body and your blood. By the spirit, enable us to tread upon all the power of the enemy, as we are bound by the blessing of your holy hand, full of mercy from all evil works. Keep us apart, and in all good works, unite us. Blessed is he who has given us his holy body and his precious blood. We have received grace and we have found life by the power of the cross of Jesus Christ. Unto you, Lord, do we give thanks, for we have received grace from the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Masalam. We have been given grace and we have received life. We have been given grace and we have received life by the power of the cross of Jesus Christ. By the power of the cross, by unto you. God. 